everybody! Today I am going to be doing the Jurassic Park book tag, which is an original tag created by myself and Hannah over at A Cup of Wonderland. I will leave a link to her video in the description box. We buddy read both of the Jurassic Park books, and after we read the first one, we loved it so much, we decided that we had to create a tag for it. So we did, and let's get started with the questions. Question one is, what is your favorite dinosaur? I started loving dinosaurs at a really, really young age, so when I was little I used to watch The Land Before Time all the time, and so I think my love for Brachiosaurus all started with that TV show, and they have just always been my favorite dinosaur. And also Triceratops I think are really cute. Question 2 is Alan Grant. Name a book character or characters you think could survive Jurassic Park. Now don't ask me why, I have no idea, but when we first like came up with this question, the first person who popped into my head was Neville Longbottom from Harry Potter. And I think it's because I can imagine him doing something really funny, like casting a spell and like the dinosaur would turn into like a chicken or something, and <laughs> then it would like chase him around. I just think it would be really funny and I think he would be able to survive Jurassic Park. Question 3 is Ellie Sattler. Name a character who is willing to risk their life to save others. And for this one I'm going to go with Sam from The Lord of the Rings. Even though I've never actually read The Lord of the Rings yet, I think his character in the books is probably very similar to his character in the movie, in which case he is definitely willing to risk his life to save Middle Earth and Frodo. Question 4 is Ian Malcolm. Name a book in which you could predict the ending. And for this one, I'm going to go with Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Now I know that this is a fairy tale retelling of Cinderella, in which case you can kind of predict what's going to happen if you're already familiar with the original story, but with this one there was an element of it that like wasn't in the original story that I predicted the ending about. Question 5 is Dennis Nedry. Name a character who is willing to put others in danger for their own benefit. And I'm going to go with Caleb from Divergent, or Insurgent rather. Uh, and if you've read that book, I'm sure you know why. Question 6 is Brachiosaurus. Name a book that took you a long time to finish. And for this one, I'm going to go with Mockingjay. The first two books in the Hunger Games trilogy took me just like a couple of days, maybe a week at the most, but Mockingjay took me like an entire month. Question 7 is T-Rex. Name a book you found intimidating but ended up loving in the end. And for this one, I'm going with Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. This book, I believe, is like nearly 900 pages, which is probably the biggest book I've ever read. And although I do think the beginning was a little bit boring, I really enjoyed this book. Question 8 is Velociraptor. Name a book that's fast-paced. And for this one, I'm going to go with the first two books in the Hunger Games trilogy. As I said, Mockingjay took me a very long time to read, and the first half of the book, much like the movie Mockingjay Part 1 is a little slower, so it's definitely not as fast as the first two books. But I've just recently reread The Hunger Games, and it is a very fast-paced read. Question 9 is Pterodactyl. Name a book that flew you to another world. And originally I was going to say Harry Potter, but I'm going to try and not repeat an answer, and instead say The Chronicles of Narnia. And finally, question 10 is Triceratops. Tag three people to do this tag. And I am going to tag Cherry Walker, Ainsley from Books and Things, and Melissa from The Bookish Babbler. And of course, if anybody else out there would like to do this tag, feel free. You do not have to have read the books or even really watched the movie in order to do this tag. So that is all for this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye!